Hey guys, today I thought I'd do a room tour. So, yeah, we're going to be looking at all of my Lego. First, I'll give you a little pan. And I thought we'd also open this up here. Got this one from Barnes & Noble. And comes with a Rita Skeeter minifigure, so... I thought I'd open that up in this one. Alright. So, let's we'll start right here. I put some Lego tape on the light switch, so I got to put some minifigures and display them that way. This is the modular Hogwarts style from the past couple of years in the in the um so these are actually all of the sets including the battle of hogwarts and in the back of that instruction manual there was a sort of display of all of them combined so i decided to do um put them together in that style heading on over to the front or i guess We'll take a look at the side. The entrance to the Chamber of Secrets and the Whomping Willow. I think if you turn this. Well, actually, let's see if we can do this. Awesome. Hagrid's Hut. Interior. I made a little custom scene in there with Ron's broken wand from the second book. And you can see a yellow and green frog in there. Actually representing the slugs that he belched out after his spell backfired. Then we have Scabbers in there from the end of the third book. This was a great set. Um, moving on over to the exterior of Haggard's Hut. Actually didn't manage to get the Grop set yet, so I actually have a CMF Centaur. The end of the third book... After um, they hear Buckbeak being uh, killed, Ron uh, Scabbers gets loose, and Ron chases him towards the Whomping Willow, and then Sirius Black captures them and drags them into the Shrieking Shack, so that's a cool little scene there. Here we have the Thestral cart with Luna with her upside-down quibbler, and Harry there with his apple. Here we've got Malfoy firing a hex at Hermione. She's got some pretty fast reflexes there. I don't know if I could avoid that. This is the 2018 version of the Basilisk and Harry stabbing it with the um, Gryffindor sword. Up above there, um, we have Neville killing Nagini with the sword of Gryffindor. And Molly killing Bellatrix. Moving on down to the boathouse, we have Snape being murdered by Nagini. Here is the Black Lake. So we've got this is Hannah Abbott. There she is, grown up a little from the other Hannah Abbott. This is the other Hannah Abbott I was talking about, the younger version. She is rowing away there. Then the uh, three first years heading over to the sorting ceremony. Then we have the Expecto Patronum set with some Dementors. And then Sirius, Harry, and Hermione. I should mention, flying up above this scene, we have Malfoy. We've got Harry. And we've got another Harry. I guess it won't focus. And Madame Hooch. On the bridge, we have the final duel with that awesome Voldemort figure. And the Harry figure. Also, Scabior. Moving on down to the other section of the grounds, we have Aragog's funeral and Horace Slughorn extracting some of that acromantula venom. 
Then we've got some of our least favorite Death Eaters. And actually, in the, I believe it was the third or fourth book, there was a Care of Magical Creatures lesson where Hagrid um, um, got these nifflers for the students to um, dig up some galleons, some fake leprechaun gold galleons. And Ron's niffler was actually the most productive, got the most, and so he um, was rewarded with a slab of Honeyduke's chocolate. So I thought that was a fun scene to add. And then some of the Hogwarts flying lesson with Draco and the Remember All. And then a Hufflepuff student there. Here we have Hogsmeade. Actually used some of the shelves from some of the Ikea um, units there to create the snowy contrast. Out here in front, we have Katie Bell with the cursed necklace. So this was actually, um, Harry took the night bus back from 12 Grimo Place during the winter holidays in their fifth year. And then we have this shop from the uh, 2022 Winter Village set. Thought it sort of matched the vibe of Hogsmeade. We have the Bobaton's carriage, some of the Bobaton uh, pupils there, Hogsmeade station. That was a newer set. Then this is the other set from that 2022 um, holiday set. Up above Hogsmeade, we have the four house banner uh, sets. Those come with some awesome minifigures. And then down there at the far end, the three broomsticks and Hog or Honeydukes. This is actually the interior of Honeydukes. We've got some students um, buying some sweets and then Mr. and Mrs. Flume. And then up top, we've got some chocolate frog cards and Hedwig. Over here, we've got McGonagall and Hermione in that other building. All right, let's head on into the interior of my modular Hogwarts. Down in the Chamber of Secrets, got a little action scene. So the Basilisk, um, its greatest superpower, some would say, is that when it looks you dead in the eyes, you die. That's actually how Moaning Myrtle died. So, when Harry is fighting the Basilisk in the Chamber of Secrets, uh, Fox the Phoenix comes in to save the day and um, actually attacks the Basilisk's eyes um, so that it can't use that power to kill Harry. So, have Fox in that pose there. Over here we have Ron. Um, trying to get through the collapsed passageway. And then Ginny and Tom Riddle. Up above the Chamber of Secrets is the Great Hall. With the glow-in-the-dark newly headless Nick. Love those cereals. The Pixie Puffs and the Cheery Owls. Those are pretty cool. Pretty fun. Creative. Love the uh, Firebolt still in its wrapping paper. Above the um, entrance to the Chamber of Secrets, actually the entrance is right there, but we have the Moaning Myrtle's bathroom with them transforming. And then above that, the trophy room. So we've got Neville there and then Percy with his head boy badge. And then next to the trophy room, we have the Mirror of Erised room and with Harry, his invisibility cloak, Dumbledore's office with the adorable baby fox. And then above that, we've got a little room for the pensive. And then third year Harry and Hermione with the time turner. And then a little area up there with a bunch of random stuff. Moving over to the library, got Colin Creevy, Madam Pence, with um, a nice potions book there, and as well, and of course Hermione. You can always find her in the library. The Defense Against the Dark Arts craft, 
classroom has Justin Finch Fletchley and Neville being carried up to the chandelier by some Cornish pixies. Got to hang him there. Up here we've got sort of my custom divination classroom. In the fifth book, Trelawney gets inspected by Professor Umbridge after Umbridge becomes um, uh, the High Inquisitor. So she gets to inspect all the teachers and eventually gets to sack Professor Trelawney. So she's there lurking in the background. And then we've got Harry and Ron with their crystal balls. Over here, Hermione about to conjure some fire to ward off the devil snare. Then the hospital wing with the excellent Madame Pomfrey minifigure. And then Hannah Abbott with some Skelligro. Love that piece. Then the... Actually, I don't think that's Hannah Abbott. This is Hannah, Ab Hannah Abbott. It's not Ginny. See the uh, Hufflepuff clothes there. But she's got the Weird Sisters poster. And then you can see the back of Filch. Nice staircase leading up to Gilderoy Lockhart's office with his signed photos and his wig. And then we've got Sirius's rescue. Uh, if you're wondering what that green thing is, it's a light. So, see if we can turn it on. There we go. If we go around to the front of Hogwarts, you can kind of see it better. Flashing through the windows there. Pretty cool. Um, and then above Ron, who's broken his leg, Rita Skeeter. This is a new minifigure, uh, just released with her Quick Quotes Quill. Um, that's a pretty cool figure. And then we've got Harry in there being interrogated about the Triwizard Tournament. Up there we've got Professor Horace Slughorn with a an ancient scroll, maybe about some potion. Um, here we have the Room of Requirement with the Fiend Fire. This was a great Lego set. Harry saving Malfoy and Hermione saving Zavini. Above that we have Fluffy's Encounter with the harp that Quirrell uses to lull him to sleep. Up above that, Ron, Ron, my bad, Fred and George try to put their names in the Goblet of Fire, but the age line prevents them from doing so. It turns them into old men, um, giving them beards, so that's a fun scene. Um, in the sixth book, um, in the fight where Dumbledore dies, Fenrir Greyback attacks Bill Weasley. And then up above that we have Malfoy sneering down at us all with his chocolate frog card. Last, but certainly not least, this might actually be my favorite scene, we have Boggart Snape uh, with Neville's um, Grand's clothes. So we've got Lupin, Neville, and then Boggart Snape that came in that Bricktober pack. So yeah, this is the interior of my Hogwarts, the modular Hogwarts. Yeah, pretty cool. Moving on over to the ch this chest. In this chest, I actually keep my um, the Lego sets that I take apart, put in Ziploc bags with their instruction manuals, the ones I don't want to display. Here we have the Space Shuttle Discovery and the Hubble Telescope. Um, this one actually opens up. And this one comes off as well. Then we have some of my sorted bricks. These are the ones that are sorted by piece type. Up above that, we've got the Hogwarts moments with their classes sort of in the book format. And the Monster Book of Monsters promo. 12 Grimald Place with the extendable ear. This is actually the scene where 
Sirius gives Harry the mirror after Snape tells Harry that he will be having Occlumency lessons. We've just got all the Order of the Phoenix there. Love that Kingsley minifigure. Heading on down, we have Dobby with the pudding, the Tom Riddle's diary, and then we've got the chess set, the Patronus, and then we've got the second task from the Triwizard Tournament. Got Fudge up there because he's one of the judges. And then a little promo with Cho Chang. This is the next sort of section of my Harry Potter collect or er, Lego collection. We've got my magazines. So these are from present all the way back um, from 2015. So we've got some of the Lego Club ones, Lego Life, and then some of the ones that just have all the sets in there. I think this is my oldest, 2015. The burrow on top of my color sorted bricks. Just got some color sorted pieces there. Here we have uh, the other um, cabinet of piece sorted. So these are like two by ones, tires, uh, snot bricks. And then up on top, we've got the second series of Harry Potter CMFs and this little. N that I created. Then the Hogwarts castle and the um, Hogwarts Express with the Brickless sign up there. Ron almost falling out to the um, Hogwarts Express from the second book. Then we have all of the golden minifigures and all of the chocolate frog cards my laptop, and yeah, now let's open this one up. Um, so we have a little Rita Skeeter uh, sticker there. This one's kind of hard to peel off, I guess. Alright. There she is. So, just built her. She's got a little notepad, a fluorescent green flame for the quick quotes quill, some nice green torso printing. You can see the back. And then she's got two expressions. This is the first one. And then you can see her mad expression. Pretty cool minifigure. This is actually just a little encyclopedia of all the minifigures. So, this is actually new. I, I don't know when it came out, but it is new. And these are my shelves. So, starting up at the top, um, the boost sets. Then we have BB-8 and the Probe Droid. Wish they would release more of these style. The Birch Books and the Creator 3-in-1 Tiger. Then moving down to the um, dioramas. These are some of my favorite Star Wars sets. Probably my favorite. I think this one is my favorite. But they're all so awesome. Moving on down, we've got the... Mandalorian sets, so we've got the Mandalorian Battle Pack, the Armorer's Forge, Bad Batch Attack Shuttle with my custom Omega, can't wait for the um, Advent Calendar to release so I can get the official version, don't really like the yellow skin tones on that, the Rancor, the N1 Starfighter, and the Razor Crest. Um, the last Star Wars shelf, we have Poe, Dameron's X-Wing, Anakin Starfighter, some micro, um, starships. Over here, we've got some of the Christmas stuff, like the Elf Clubhouse, some promos, some Advent Calendar, Star Wars stuff, CMFs, 
all sorts of Christmas stuff. The Indiana Jones sets, so the diorama style from Raiders of the Lost Ark, awesome set. And then this chase scene from the Last Crusade with the plane. Here we have some of the buildable magical creatures from Harry Potter. So Fox the Phoenix, Hedwig the Owl, and the Hungarian Horntail Dragon. Love this hairy minifigure with the blue hands, and this Dumbledore one's nice too. Here we have some of the architecture sets in my collection. So we have the Pyramid of Giza, London, eventually Hamiji Castle is going to go right there next to the Pyramid of Giza. Here we have the Skyline sets. So we've got Singapore, my favorite, Tokyo there in the back, and Dubai. Up one, we've got the Ducati, sort of a miscellaneous shelf. The Christmas tree, shark, promos, CMFs. And then up there, second to the top, you can see on the left, Trafalgar Square, and just some random stuff. And then at the very top, we have the three-in-one castle, as well as a yellow plane um, from like 20, 30 years ago. Up top, we have the Legoland set, my little city, some of the posable Star Wars figures. I have a few others, but those are actually in the trunk with the rest of my disassembled sets. If we move back, we can get the whole Ninjago area. So I have uh, the dragon from season 14, the four-headed dragon, and Zane's Titan mech battle. Um, then we have the Destiny's Bounties from Season 15, as well as the Legacy one. And then some Oni figures. Then the Season 15 sets. This was my favorite season. I love the dragon. That Nia is really nice. Then this is sort of the pirate shelf, or table. Pirates of Barracuda Bay, one of my favorites. I like it in the island build. I just think it's, you know, creative, unique, fun. The sailboat promo and the pirate playground promo. <clears throat> Random Lego bag. This is the um, 2018 through 2020 Hogwarts display. This is the one that isn't modular with the gray roofs um, instead of the green ones over here. So... Starting off with the Great Hall, nearly headless Nick and Malfoy sort of flying above. Then we have the Yule Ball scene. I just pulled this Roger Davies minifigure from the Ravenclaw House banner set to dance with Fleur. Then we have Pavardi and Padma from one of the um, advent calendars, and then Ron and Harry. And then these are, the, the middle one is actually from the advent calendar as well. And then up top, some of my absolute favorite minifigures, Filch with Mrs. Norris, Flitwick, and McGonagall. I actually raised up this um, arch. That one came in the Whomping Willow set, just because I wanted the Hogwarts Express from 2018 to be able to fit under that. The Trolley Witch. And then, one of my favorite sets, got this one recently from eBay, I didn't pick this one up for retail, but the Clock Tower. And then, also over here, is Cho Chang in her Quidditch sweater, or house sweater, and then there's Cedric too. I believe those came in the house banners as well. Then we have the greenhouses, with Neville, Cedric, and Professor Sprout. Dumbledore back there. Then an Occlumency scene. Love the astronomy tower, but sort of a sad scene there. And Harry flying above. And then this is the Angelina Johnson, which was the Gryffindor um, Quidditch player in their sweater. And then this is when 
um, Professor Trelawney gets sacked in the um, Order of the Phoenix. Don't have an Umbridge figure here yet. That is coming. Love this Daily Prophet. That just kind of shows that it's from the Order of the Phoenix. But yeah, this is the 2018 through 2020 Hogwarts. Below, we have the Santa's Visit and the uh, Santa's Sleigh. Couldn't fit it over there in the other Christmas sets. Here we have the postcards. So, London, Paris, New York, Australia, and Beijing. And then I got another space for one more. In behind there, the Lego House promo with a bunch of those little builds. Don't know if you guys can see that. So, this is the Disney table. And then, for some random reason, um, I put icons up there. But yeah, let's take a look. So this is the Winnie the Pooh set. Um, Pooh's house. Love this set so much. And some of the building techniques are awesome, like the coral used for the leaves. And that trunk there. Yeah, this is one of my favorite idea sets. Then we have the 2016 Disney Castle. Um, I I don't know what I think about the new one. I like the new one, but I'm I don't know. I'm, I probably won't get it. Then we have Hogwarts icons with the beautiful Hedwig. I am a Ravenclaw, so I decided to make that scarf. And then here we have the Disney minifigures. So this is series one. Series 2, and Series 3. And then you can see the Chippendale Brickheads, and then some of the duplicate minifigures that I got. And then these Muppets ones. And then above that display, we have the Up House. Love the minifigures with this set. One of my favorites. I like this table a lot. Um... Hopefully I'll get the camera, some of the other Disney 100 sets that come out, and I can move icons. It's sort of a space filler right now. But yeah, this is an awesome table. This is the floating shelving unit hanging above Hogsmeade. The train um, from that released in June, so the, the newer one. And then the Professor's Brickheads. Moving up a shelf, this is sort of the exploration shelf, I guess. We have the um, Amelia Earhart promo, as well as the ship in the bottle. The mini Disney castle. The Death Star. Uh, the Mando and Grogu. Year of the Tiger, and everyone is awesome. And some... May the 4th promos. Up top there we have the B-Wing. That's a vintage one. And then the Saturn V and one of the custom art sets as well as one of NASA. There we have my map of the U.S. with pins and some of the places I've been. And that is my Lego collection. There's a little minifigure artwork that I have. There we go. I think I forgot to mention these down here. So we, so the uh, Apollo 11 Lunar Lander, the International Space Station, they've got some minifigs down there as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.